So, it is time. I've got him here in the studio with me. The one, the only, Steve Lawler. How you doing, man? I'm good, I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm great. Thank you for blessing us and coming to the studio. Oh, you're very welcome. How was, uh, how was your trip over? Yeah, it was nice and smooth. Just slept a little bit and... Uh... Got in this morning and slept, and slept a little bit more. So, yeah, I'm good. Hey, all, you, all refreshed for this evening. Yeah, of course. I was going to say, you need your rest before tonight. Yeah. So, for if you don't know, uh, Steve is going to be performing tonight at Soho Garden. It is going to be absolutely spectacular. We're really looking forward to it. Uh, you've been to the UAE before, right? Yes, many times. Okay. Yeah, many times. Probably okay. twice a year now, I'd say. Oh, that's great. All right. So, um, before we get into the, the main stuff I want to ask you is... I. I've come across in my research of you just reading that you're you're quite the businessman. I mean, other than, of course, your own music and stuff, you've got a record <laughs> label, right, Viva? Yeah. Um, why is it that, or, or what is it that pushed you to go to those lengths versus just DJing, making your own music, and everything else is, you know, on the side? I mean, having a record label kind of, it's, I don't know, for me, it's all, all one thing. It's just music. My life is music. It's what I do. And uh, I'm fortunate enough to have sent quite a lot of good music a lot of demos and it's just the natural thing to get excited about it and be the one that puts it out there's benefits in that for me as a dj and that is i'll have a track that nobody else has right for as long as i say it's not like another label's going to release it it's as long as i say i've got it on sort of exclusive for um so I have a, a lot, like a lot of the music you'll hear tonight is stuff you've never heard before, but it will be coming out within a few months. And having, a, <clears throat> excuse me, having a label, you know, enables that. But it's, you know, A and R in new producers, new artists is the same as curating parties and putting DJs on that you like. It's all the same. It all comes from the same sort of love, really. Right. Uh, is there a is there a DJ or an artist uh, or another producer that you? feel very excited for that maybe the world hasn't heard yet um there is a kid a new kid that's sending me music um it depends on it depends on how he chooses to uh release his music and what labels that he goes with and and what his next steps are mm. but as far as talent is concerned he's amazing his name is frankie Wah. Frankie War. Yeah, okay. and he's a really, really good producer. He's the kind of guy that he could lend himself to any style or genre of music and deliver an absolute monster. Really? Yes, a very high quality as well, very high sort of production quality. But it all dep- how he does really depends on what he does with his talent. It's mm. not just being talented is enough. Yeah. So. Yeah, you got to be smart about it, right? Yeah. Okay, so maybe we'll see where uh, where Frankie comes into play and when that's going to happen. Yeah. But it seems like you're excited for it. Uh, and then I want to ask you, Steve, what is your favorite non-musical activity? When you're not making music or A&Ring or working with the label, what's one thing that maybe the world doesn't know you like to kick back and do in your spare time? I mean, really? <laughs> I don't have spare time, so I don't know. I mean, in my spare time is spent being a father, so... I literally divide my time from being with my children mm. um, to either being in the studio or being on the road. Uh, and even being on the road is sometimes when I'll start producing music or when I'll do a lot of my, you know, business affairs. That's a lot of that's done on the road. So generally, I actually don't even have a hobby as sad as that sounds. That's not sad. You have like 15 full-time jobs though. That's, that's... Yeah, that, that does take my time up. Yeah. yeah. And the kids are a full-time job as well. Yeah, of course. How many kiddos you got? Two, two girls. Awesome. Bless them, man. Uh, so we're going to actually go into another song real quick and then come back, uh, talk to Steve Lawler a little bit more. All good? Yeah. All right. Back on Drive Time, it's me, James, and of course, Steve Lawler. So um, I like the name of a show like that, right? Steve and James? Keep yeah. yeah. <laughs> do you have like radio experience? Not a lot. I mean, I do my own nightlife radio, which is like a monthly podcast, but... Mm. I think that's almost two years old now, and I think it, it's taken me like 18 months just to get used to it. Um, yeah, I don't really have uh, a lot of radio experience. Okay. Apart from being on this end. But you enjoy the uh, the podcast that you do? Yeah, I do like it. I mean, at the end of the day, I'm talking about music and talking about shows and producers, so it's kind of what I do anyway. So, yeah, it's it's... As far as the information is concerned and playing music I like, yeah, yeah. I, I do enjoy it, yeah. Yeah, and it comes from the heart. Yeah. Uh, Steve, why is it that you've been so against or 
wary of being restricted to, to one subgenre of dance or being labeled as house or tech or whatever it may be? Um, simply because I'm not. I mean, I'm basically... I started out collecting music. Okay. So I, I collect... When you collect music, you don't just collect one style of music. You collect a whole broad range. And that was always my training as a DJ. And I've always valued the sort of the experience that people have more than my own personal preference of I don't know like for example it matters to me that people enjoy themselves it matters that they that the night is right for them so for example if I was playing early a good example of this is I played uh, music on in Ibiza about six seven eight weeks ago uh, for Corolla and you start you open the room Everybody that plays in that terrace with Corolla opens the room from 12 a.m. and you play till like three, four o'clock. Wow. And I hadn't opened a room in like, God, 10, 15 years or something. It's been such a long time. And I absolutely loved it because I started playing ambient for the first 20 minutes. I didn't even use a kick drum. Wow. So people were coming in and the room was really spacey and atmospheric and then I started out about 120 BPM with Deep House and I eventually built it up to techno. Now that's me being a professional DJ and, yeah. and doing it right for the people. So if I was just a one genre specific DJ, that would not have been possible for me. Mm. And I've always viewed playing, if I play a big stage or festival, then you can guarantee that I will end up playing tougher for longer. Um, and if I play a small underground 500 cap club, I might just play Deep House for five, six hours. Yeah. Because it just feels right. Yeah. It just feels right. I'm playing based on my feeling above anything else. So I, I, I can't restrict myself. That's I go smart. with what I feel. Catering to the situation. Yeah, exactly. And the people. That's great. All right. Steve Lawler, I have one more question for you, and this one's a fun one. So, okay. ready? This is the worst. <laughs> if I told you right now, that one DJ you've always wanted to work with but haven't gotten the chance to is going to walk through this door and exchange info with you and say, let's get on a track together or let's do a performance together. Who would you choose? Um, that's a hard one because I've actually managed to work with hey. all the people that I've wanted to. Uh, there you go. I guess no, Ricardo Villalobos, I've got huge respect for and I've not worked with him. I've never played with him back to back or produced with him and I've just got tons of respect for him so yeah I guess it would be him awesome well here's hoping it happens yeah is he going to come through that door right now (laughs) I wish man (laughs) listen I'm good I'm not that good oh man All right. thank you so much for being here with us of course the performance tonight at Soho Garden we are very very excited for it the big 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 season opener for Thursdays at Soho we'll see you tonight Anything else you want to say to the fans? No, I just can't wait for later on. Absolutely. Thank you, Steve Wallace. Appreciate it. All right, thanks for listening to Drive Time. Going to leave you with another throwback right now. So good to me. And then back on with you around 6 o'clock for more of the show.